Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Crypto Tips. My name is Toby. My name is Heidi. And we are going to talk about topics such as taking profits um, for NFTs, all this other stuff. I think those two are really huge right now, and I think they're really important for people to understand. Uh, these questions were brought to us by our Patreon members. If you haven't checked out our Patreon group, check it out. Links below. You can check out our portfolio, trade alerts, um, and then you can submit your questions because a lot of people have a lot of questions, and there's not like a help desk uh, in this space. So we are kind of the help desk, essentially. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first question. You say that you never sell Bitcoin. You also say take your profits. Do you ever take your profits from Bitcoin or do you only take profits from Ethereum and other alts? Uh, the second, I only take profits from my Ethereum and alts. Um, and also, I, I don't really do that too much. I, I mostly use uh, my alts for staking and then with those staking profits, I reinvest every single day pretty much um, and to different coins like Bitcoin or you know different uh, uh, riskier coins which we will be getting to the next video um, but yeah that's that's pretty much what I do we, we have an income as well so we use that as for a living um, I will never touch my Bitcoin uh, just I don't see any reason to touch my Bitcoin because there's nothing more valuable in my opinion, than holding Bitcoin. Like, um, it's the hardest asset in the world. What, 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 what the heck else am I gonna get with it? You know yeah. what I mean? Also, just getting into that concept of never touching our Bitcoin is to ultimately, you know, just keep stacking stats and to one day use that uh, asset and borrow against it um, and access the value in different ways without actually losing our position in that coin. So I think maybe for, for people who are new to investing or if you don't know that's even a possibility with Bitcoin, you don't, might not understand why you wouldn't want to take profits from Bitcoin. And for us, it's, it's a, a safe haven. I think that's actually a really good video to do about well here we go yeah that's a <laughs> that's a really good question um and i think that's really important for people to understand because i if people are selling their bitcoin they're literally selling the, the world's hardest asset so there are ways around having to sell your bitcoin and yeah. I, I think we should definitely cover that yeah yeah um Next question. Is it a viable option to trade Bitcoin in a private transaction between two people from wallet to wallet? Just curious what is involved with doing this, if it even still occurs these days, and what potential dangers or benefits there are. Thanks. Um, right off the bat, yes, this does still happen. And it's the core of any cryptocurrency is being able to, it's what they call peer to peer. You can send it from one wallet to another wallet without a third party interfering so we do this all the time but without bitcoin we do it with other assets and um yeah it's 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 great you know you don't have any intermediary it's perfect so yeah. and you can send it anywhere in the world at you know to any anyone and to at any place in the world and it's pretty much hardly costs any money at all so yeah kind of nice and and it's private in that um you know only people who know about it are the ones who you choose to tell about it. So that's the essence of privacy, right? It's giving you the option to unveil that information if you want. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, you should protect your privacy so you have an option. Otherwise, it's like I, I keep thinking of this analogy with privacy of like a changing room. If you're shopping for clothes, if you, <laughs> this whole concept of like, well, if you have nothing to hide, then you shouldn't care about your privacy. Then no. why do you close a door in a changing room? You know what yeah. I mean? Why don't you just strip naked in, in the shop and try on the clothes there? That's definitely the lazy approach. <laughs> like, come yeah. on, everybody has something to hide. You know, I, it's, it's, you know that's why we are so careful with uh, our, you know, using VPNs mm -hmm. and and using Signal as well. You know, different privacy applications that we can use and like Tutanota as well for me, you know, because I want to take, I take privacy seriously. You know, that's one of the, the last things that are, you know, 
are pretty, you know, going extinct right now is privacy. And yeah. so I want to keep as much as I can because I don't want some government or some other idiot, you know, snooping around my stuff. Yeah. I mean, and I'm, I'm always met with that kind of conflict a little bit with my MetaMask videos. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, there's always like these kind of nihilistic people who think, oh, well, if you're on, the, if you're using the internet at all, you have zero privacy. And that's just plain false because there are very easy tools to use that help protect your privacy. Um, and it's also that kind of mindset where you think all is lost anyway, so screw it. But the fact is that you can be very heavily affected by an invasion of privacy, um, by people using that inf your information against you to benefit themselves, whatever. Uh, there's plenty of reasons why to protect it. But if you're interested, there is a privacy class for you as a CT Club member. Um, if you go to the homepage of our Patreon, it's patreon.com slash crypto tips. Right on the homepage, there's a classes category. And there's like 11 classes that are there now, and one of them is on privacy. Uh, next question. This is a fun question. <laughs> Have you ever been to Bitcoin Beach? And if so, tell us about it. If not, do you plan to visit in the future? I think Bitcoin Beach is in El Salvador, right? Yeah. It's pretty uh, new. No, I've never been there. If it has good waves, I'll go there. If not, I'm definitely not going to go yeah. there because I can't stand beaches that don't have good waves. I heard there's a heavy mafia presence possibly there. I don't know. We've never Whatever. been Whatever. If there. it has good waves, I'm going to surf. I don't care if there's a mafia <laughs> presence there. Yeah. Actually, we were. We have been in contact with a tour tourism agency um, wanting to, again, obviously highlight the Bitcoin aspect of El Salvador now. So we might get out there. It's still up in the air. We haven't yet, but definitely will plan to in the future. And yeah. I'd love to get a firsthand experience with traveling just with anything, you know, you can read all about a place online and there's all these warnings and all these kind of scare tactics. Usually uh, those but warnings until you go are, there, yeah. are just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. They're usually isolated incidents. Very. Um, <laughs> last question for this episode. What do you think about the NFT market in the coming few years? I'm really excited on the NFT market. Um, let me tell you why is because if, no, you, we're gonna cut it if you remember, <laughs> if you remember Crypto Kitties, all right, that yeah. was in the 2017, 2018 bull run. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was it was pretty big, and you know, you could like mate with your your kitties and stuff, and make babies <laughs> and stuff like that. About. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But like, you can tell how big it's gotten now. So it kind of like faded away a little bit, like during the the bear run, mm -hmm. the, the bear market. And so now this bull run, um, yes, we are still in a bull. It's still over thirty friggin' thousand dollars. So, um, yeah. Anyways, don't let other people tell you otherwise. Um, with that said, uh, I see how huge it's becoming. Like I see how much money is being thrown into this space. I think one was like for seventy million dollars or something like that for one NFT. Like mm -hmm. guys, imagine the next bull after this. Like. I see it as as here to stay. You can have uh, essentially artwork that cannot be manip that cannot be manipulated. It cannot be uh, counterfeited because it is on the blockchain. And I mean, there you go. There's transparency for you. I don't th see that going anywhere. And I also see a lot of the NFTs that I will cover in the next video, um, the gaming NFTs, and that's huge, guys. That's going to be huge. And I kind of blew it off at the beginning and now I'm realizing, oh my gosh, this could be really, really huge because I have big gaming friends. I'm sure many of you have gaming friends and they are really excited about it as well. And uh, yeah, anyways, I'll stop there. I'll leave it for the next one. Yeah. So like, I think the way I see NFTs now is there's highly speculative, right? A bunch of money is getting uh, traded back and forth, which is great. It's showing interest in the concept. But as with anything with blockchain technology, some of these cryptocurrencies, this concept of NFTs as bringing like real ownership onto the blockchain of things that could be existing in our physical world, like home ownership, car ownership, uh, property ownership, basically. It's a really cool implementation of blockchain and merging the two worlds together. And it's something that I think is gonna, just like you know, having pure ownership over your money having pure ownership over other things in your life that you can capitalize on in the future 
and be secure. And I think that's a really cool thing. And I, that's obviously not as marketable or as exciting as making like 300, 3,000% on an NFT, 8-bit NFT thing. So there's a lot to go, but I think there's definitely, um, it's going to continue to mature and prove to be you know, all the more valuable in the future. Absolutely, and I, th and I also see that the longer this lasts, the, the longer this goes, people will be more and more comfortable to get into this, and it will be like an obvious option, you know? And, and you know, the reason why uh, artwork right now is going for so much is because of inflation, guys. Like, people want to put their, mm -hmm. their money into inflation, you know, uh, hedge hedges like like art like artwork and and whether it's digital art whether it's r in real art it doesn't matter you know people want to own something physical or at least even digital that has a limited amount you know this is really important especially now that governments around the world are printing like there's no tomorrow they're giving UBI universal basic income which is going to create enormous amounts of inflation because right now you know just to give you a little heads up on inflation, you know, right right now, the reason why things are going crazy up with inflation, like lumber, steel, uh, housing, everything, is because, you know, that money that they're printing is actually going out into the economy. Beforehand, it wasn't necessarily going into the economy. Now it's being thrown into the economy. And that's when you have more dollars chasing after uh, less goods. And that's kind of it, you know, that's, you're going to have rise, a rise in prices. And uh, the more that economies are shut down, the more that that's going to be, become a death cycle, essentially. It's go never going to end um, until they do raise interest rates, which we know they will never, they can never raise interest rates in a dramatic way because that would equal pretty much hyperinflation. They'd have to print their way out of that. So, um, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Anyways. Buy Bitcoin. Yeah, buy Bitcoin. That's why we are in all in on this space. We, we, we love it. So yeah, if you guys are new to this channel and you like these AMAs, go ahead and hit the like button and hit subscribe so you can get videos like this on the daily. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. And Let also me. sign up for Heidi's free newsletter on learningcrypto.com. Yeah, it comes out every Sunday. And check out our Patreon if you want to see how we're doing with our, with our trades. And congratulations for the people that had bought uh, one of our NFT gaming ones uh, last week. That was a beautiful, beautiful call. Yeah. Uh, congrats. Anyways, talk to you soon. And stay disobedient. Don't follow the sheep. Bye-bye. <laughs>